as many viewers to this channel will know by now Elvis's records in Japan initially appeared on the Black Victor label or at least EPs singles and LPs did for example this one here is a 1960s copy of Love Me Tender the singles all came with an insert like this one which always featured the lyrics in English and some notes in Japanese and they came with a Victor company sleeve the design changed over the years this was the last design they used before the records switched to the RCA label in 1968 the first single to appear on RCA was a little less conversation unlike many other countries where it was on the black RCA, uh, black RCA label just as before the record still appeared in a company sleeve except now it was RCA and again the design changed uh, now and again over the years and it's these RCA singles that we're going to be looking at today however not the uh, not the singles that appeared for the first time on RCA but we're going to be looking at singles that were reissued on RCA because these are some of the rarest uh, Elvis singles out there from Japan at least in most cases there are one or two that are fairly easy to find but of the 24 I would say at least 20 of them are quite hard to find the most or well, the easiest one to find is probably Love Me Tender and to keep it simple there are basically two versions of the RCA singles you've got one with the tri-center and then another version uh, without it's the back of the insert pretty similar to the first one we looked at so the thing about these RCA singles is they probably didn't appear until 1971 and the reason why I say that is because of the type of paper that was used I'm not going to be able to really show this very well but this particular insert here the paper is textured as opposed to this one here which is smooth and they didn't start using this textured paper until 1971 with the release of uh, I really don't want to know and I haven't found any of these reissue singles with smooth paper except one which we'll come on to in a moment all these RCA reissues appear to have this smooth uh, sorry this textured paper insert design so that's why I think that all of the reissues appeared initially in 71 and that makes sense because Elvis was uh, riding high at that time with the success of that's the way it is however I do have one smooth paper insert RCA single and that's uh, this one here again it's love me tender this one is from 79 that is because um, in the late 70s RCA switched again back to the old smooth paper design and just to show you what I was talking about the uh, before with the label centers this one has uh, no tri-center and uh, they started appearing that way with the big hole from 1972 all right now let's have a look at uh, some more of these rare reissues there were only two more 50s singles which were reissued SS series reissued on the RCA label they were King Creole and uh, I Need You So uh, I don't have either of those at the moment so I can't show you them however I do have a very uh, rare one here this is Stuck On You there's the back and it, the orange label so these singles were always on catalogue although as I say the first RCA ones don't appear to have been pressed until 1971 the next one is um, not exactly easy to find but not among the rarest is, uh, are you lonesome tonight The Victor version had uh, a fold out insert, but they simplified it to uh, just a seven inch by seven inch sheet. This one also has the tri center. 
And the next one we have is uh, Surrender. This one is a hard one to find. So at some point in the 60s, they stopped using the picture insert for this single. And um, all subsequent releases had this green insert. Not only on RCA, but also on Victor. The rear design is basically the same as the Victor one. This one has the tri-center. The next one is a really rare one. I have only think I think I've only ever seen two copies of this, and uh, luckily, here's one of them. No more and blue Hawaii. This was a, a popular single on Victor but you don't see it often on RCA. At least not with that insert design. Here's another one that was very popular on Victor. Well, in fact, they all were, which is why they were still available on RCA. Uh, You're the Devil in Disguise with the Tri-Center and they actually kept the fold-out design for this one. Here's another one, this is fun in Acapulco. This one initially had a uh, four page insert, but they simplified it to this simple sheet by the 70s. This one has the uh, large hole. Such a night. This one's got a sticker on it, 500 yen. So that means it will have been sold in 74 or later when prices went up. Can you believe in Japan in 1974, the price of singles rose from 400 yen to 500 yen? It must have had something to do with the uh, oil crisis. It's a 25% increase. Here's the back. Um, I've got two copies of the next one. This is Do the Clam. The first one has the Tri Center, which is the earlier of the two. They still kept the four page insert for that one. There's another copy of that one. the same four page design this one has the uh, large center hole just a couple more another one you don't see very often at all crying in the chapel this one also initially came on victor with a four page insert and this one does too The last one I have is Blue Moon of Kentucky. And that's all right. For some reason, they were pushing Blue Moon of Kentucky as the, uh, the top side. This one you can see at the top, it says Gold Standard Series. And that was a series of uh, several singles that were released in the mid 1960s, all of which are quite rare. I believe this was the only one from that series that made it to uh, an RCA pressing. And it's still got the four page insert. So how long were these available for? Well, not long after Elvis's death in the November 1977 catalog, there were only two of those singles, uh, SS series, which were still available on catalog. I'm talking about um, these older ones, older releases, not the mid seventies ones. The only older releases still available at the end of 1977 were Love Me Tender, and uh, Funny in Acapulco, if you can believe it. All the other ones we looked at there, um, plus the other ones, which I haven't been able to show you, they were all deleted by then. Okay, I'll now attempt to show you the other ones that were available on Orange RCA pressings. 
Here's King Creole, there's the RCA insert, and there is an orange label pressing. Next we had the unusual coupling of I Need You So and Crawfish, which surprisingly was also available on RCA. There's a couple of different versions there. It's quite surprising to me that a big hunk of love and uh, I need your love tonight never made it to RCA pressings because they were popular singles in Japan. The next one was It's No or Never with the green insert and there are a couple of different versions of that one. And then the very popular GI Blues single of which you can see a couple of orange versions here and there is the insert for that one. Rocky Hula Baby, Can't Help Falling In Love. That was another very popular single. It appeared on RCA in 1970 in this slightly different cover. And then they changed the cover completely later on in the 70s. Hound Dog and Don't Be Cruel appeared a few times in the 1970s but each time it had a different catalog number and a different cover image. Return to Sender also was issued on RCA. As was Bossa Nova Baby. Two different versions here. Viva Las Vegas is a very common single on uh, Victor, but not so much on RCA. You don't see either of those very often. And it's a similar tale with Kiss Me Quick and Suspicion. Now, I think I said earlier that there was only one of the Gold Standard series that made it to an RCA pressing, but in fact, I was forgetting Blue Suede Shoes. Another popular single was Love Letters. It also had this different sleeve design to other countries. You can also find that one on a couple of different RCA pressings. It also appeared on a promo with the uh, music from one of the Clint Eastwood Spaghetti Westerns. And last but not least, the exceedingly rare orange label version of Stay Away. The red one at the top is the promo version on Victor. All right, so that's it for this video. If you've got any questions or comments about this topic, please let me know. As usual, thanks for watching and uh, take care. Cheers.